My name is Buster Simpson. I live in Seattle, Washington. I've been a practicing artist for over 30 years. Ice Blade is a sculpture, sculptural element that is placed uh, on top of a bridge that uh, traverses uh, one of the old drainage canals in Richmond. The bridge needed some kind of um, presence. It was a very flat, kind of nondescript bridge that you travel across. And uh, there's a very strong uh, line of trees that parallel um, the ditch, which this bridge crosses over. And so it seemed like you could mimic that, that, that line with this other line as an entry into the space. Seemed to me, I've, I've always liked the shape of the early ice skate the blades and uh, seemed like that's what this thing is about. And I like this idea of like the edge. I like this idea of, I mean, artists deal with edge all the time. It's a very simple piece. I mean, it's basically a big pipe with some glass on it. And it's a special glass that has uh, the ability to diffract light uh, sunlight during the day and, and um, the LEDs that uh, run parallel with each one of the pylons at nighttime. It's quite spectacular at night. There are these markings in the uh, concrete of, uh, of um, the, uh, the first initial ice tracks at the starting line. And I got those from a, a revered expert in Calgary who uh, sent me a number of images of how those first gestures are and then when you just start to push, it, push out and, and get underway. The drainage ditch was, uh, was a common element throughout Richmond. Uh, in the process of draining the, the bog uh, that Richmond actually is built on. There were cranberry harvest and that, that document is there. There were um, uh, fish canneries. There were uh, uh, ditches along uh, a number of roads. There's old pictures of cars that have driven off the road and into the ditch. Um, I see a lot of the ditches that they have since covered over and there's a lot of documents in these panels as well that uh, show the covering over of these ditches uh, and putting them in pipes. And I find it ironic that now in this day, we are kind of rediscovering the, the, the ditch as a bioswale. It's kind of a trendy term and that uh, the landscape at the Oval um, is attempting to address this and, and uh, what I, what I uh, uh, find interesting is, is that um, throughout uh, Richmond, underground are th these piped um, arteries, uh, drainage um, uh, ditches that could be re-revealed as, uh, as uh, biomitigating habitat.